What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. You guys know what time it is. It's time to talk about martial arts and answer some questions. Thanks for reminding me, Mike. This one's for you. So I'm gonna read out the question and then we're gonna dive right into it. And I'm gonna give you guys my two cents. It's gonna be kind of interesting. It's gonna raise a little bit of controversy, a little bit. This was actually a comment that uh, uh, Mike um, um, made in, you know, in the comment section on one of the videos. Uh, great video, you should make a video on your opinion of Aikido, and that's what I'm doing. Personally, I think of it, of it similar to how you describe Wing Chun. Use it on its own, it's not really gonna work, but in certain situations, someone charging you, it can work. Anyway, we'd love to see your opinion on it in a video, maybe a comparison video of Judo versus Aikido. Aha, aha, okay, I think Aikido is uh, is really ingenious when you think about it. My understanding, I'm not an Aikido expert. I never done Aikido. I just you know seen uh, things on YouTube regarding it. You know Steven Seagal, and of course, uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It comes from Japanese Jiu-Jitsu. So Japanese Jiu-Jitsu was the art, the martial arts of the samurai. And as a martial art of the samurai, there was different schools, different styles. The founder of uh, of, of Aikido was actually a student of, you know, like jujitsu, right? So then he, he took all of that and he turned it into Aikido. Thing is in judo, right, uh, Jigoro Kano, or Kano, he, uh, he did the same thing. He actually comes from, uh, he has a jujitsu uh, background also, was studying Japanese jujitsu. It's kind of funny that they came from the same uh, source, but they just kind of went their own way, you know? Judo actually means the gentle way, and Aikido, I'm not sure what it means, but I could probably look that up. So when you have a weapon in your hand and you're trying to kill somebody, then wh what happens is that you actually go at them with full commitment, right? So when somebody is fully committed and on top of that, they have, they're holding something with both hands and they come, so like a katana or a bow or a bow, right? You just have to wait for them because they're not just gonna stand there and do nothing. Like they're trying to kill you. Either they, they flip the guy because you know they kind of joint lock the uh, the wrist and then the person has to roll or it just snaps, okay? Or they they, they bring the, the opponent right into a clothesline, which I think is really cool. Hand-to-hand -hand combat. Then all of a sudden, it, it doesn't work as well, mainly because the person who, uh, who, who you're fighting with will not fully commit. So you're not off balancing. You're not fully committed because you could throw a punch, a jab and a, and a and a straight, but you see, you're not off balance. You're not fully committed. So you can retract your arms and your kicks. Aikido is actually, I, in my opinion, not as effective when it comes to hand-to-hand um, -hand combat. Either they're grabbing you or they're lunging towards you off balance, you know, and you know, then yeah, it, it could work, right? It always depends on the context, guys. It's not a question of something is, it works or doesn't work, it depends. It depends what it was, because these guys weren't, uh, they weren't stupid, you know? Like they, they invented this stuff and they, they, like it's because there was a reason the way they developed it, the, uh, they came up with these techniques. It wasn't, you know, they didn't just pull it out of their butts. Another YouTube channel, a lot of you guys probably noticed already, uh, might have heard of it, it's called uh, uh, My Martial Arts Journey. And this guy was an Aikido guy. He had a school, he was like, you know, uh, teaching it, just like, you know, answering all these questions from his students and all that. And then he really believed at that time because that's the way he was taught. But Kido was the, uh, the ultimate form of martial arts that this is all you need to know. Went and tested it out and he made a YouTube video on it. So it was Aikido in a ring. MMA guy was nice about it, but he essentially smashed him. Like I said, it was taken out of context. If you guys are uh, 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 want to check it out, I'm going to put a link down below. A keto guy, in my opinion, okay, fights a judo guy, will land on his ass first. The judo guy will not fully commit in that way. What we do is we go for the grips first. Now, the keto guy is just going to stand there. Us, we're going to go for the grips. But remember, when we go for the grips, we go for the sleeves first. We don't go for the lapel. We're not just gonna like blindly grab you and then Wah! And our balance, uh, judoka's cut's balance is very good. It's very solid. We're solid on our legs. We know our center of gravity is low enough. We're upright, you know, and we're not gonna overcommit to something. We're not gonna lunge at you. We're not gonna overcommit. So there's nothing for the Aikido guy to do. Bring it towards us, then, then we would reach for the lapel. And we do this while moving. We're not just gonna walk in straight and grab you like that. 
Obviously, we're gonna, you know, like there's a lot of lateral movement when it comes to judo. We have our grips, we're gonna crush them. Crush. And then we're gonna take you for a ride. There's only one way to find out. We'd have to set up a match. Let me know what you think below, okay? And uh, let, the, let the arguments, the discussions begin. And then uh, this probably won't be the last video that where we talk about this. So if you guys want to set me up with, a, with an Aikido guy, I'd be more than happy to, to throw an Aikido guy around. But remember, we got to be the same height, same weight, more or less, right? And uh, same experience level. I'm not against Aikido either. You know, I would actually take up Aikido. Help me build the channel up. I'm going to have a lot more time to be training all the time and making video guys and all, all this cool content. And I'm gonna be competing. Anyways, it's just a thought. All right, guys, love you. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms. And you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing, guys. If you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.